Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a forehand smash. So it should be easy, right? The ball is this high. How can you possibly miss? But then sometimes this happens. Or this happens. Miss the ball completely. Oh no, embarrassing. <sighs> what a wally. If this is you, don't beat yourself up too much, okay? I've seen really decent players struggle with high balls and over the years I've missed plenty of high balls myself, okay? So you are not alone. But we don't really want to miss these high balls. When the ball is high, it's our point. Should be our point to win. So let's look at some basic forehand smash technique. Now there are a few different ways you can smash high balls. So what I'm about to show you, it's not the only smashing technique, there are other ways, but I think it's the easiest technique to start with and a technique which will allow you to smash consistently regardless of what standard of play you are. So let's look at a demonstration. So there are five things I want to comment on on the basic forehand smash technique. Number one, I get my body a bit more sideways on. This helps me generate power with my body as well as my arm. Number two, as the ball is in the air, I get my bat up high. Okay, this is a good ready position for my forehand smash. Number three, I contact the ball around shoulder height. Okay, this gives me a good margin to get the ball over the net. Number four, I hit through the ball, okay, through the ball. I don't hit down on the ball, I hit through the ball to get a lot of forward power. And number five, on contact, my bat angle is slightly closed, okay? This helps me direct the ball down onto the table when hitting through the ball. So with this basic technique, you'll be able to smash consistently. Now all you need to do is move your feet to get your body in the right position. So when the ball is in the air, this is when you should be moving your feet to get into the right position, okay? If you don't move, if you just stand and watch, you'll react too late to the high ball and you'll likely miss the smash. So you need to move when the ball is in the air. If the ball is high on the forehand side, you need to move across. If the ball is deep, then you need to move back. If the ball is wide and high to your backhand, you can still smash with your forehand, okay? You have time to move as the ball is in the air and it's slow. So move your body over here, forehand smash. It's definitely worth practicing your smashes if you struggle with high balls. I mean, in a match, you probably don't get high balls all that often, but when you do, it should be your point. There's nothing more frustrating than missing 
that easy high ball. So you've got to practice your forehand smash. Now the technique I've shown in this video will help you smash consistently. Quite a basic technique, but easy to do, okay? Give it a go and let me know how you get on in the comments section. I hope you found this forehand smash video useful. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more table tennis lessons. And also visit my website to get even more table tennis tips. Go to www.tabletenniscoach.me.uk.